Welcome to Edunation Avenue. In today's video, I will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can create awesome animated educational videos for kids. The best part about these type of videos is that number one, they get monetized on YouTube. And number two is that they add value to the lives of the kids. And number three, parents love them due to the information that they give to the lives of the kids. When you look at this channel, it is creating simple educational videos for kids. And according to Social Blades, they're making anywhere from 1,500 to 24,500. Creating such type of YouTube videos is very easy. So the first thing that you need is a lesson to tell. Let me give you some heads up when it comes to these type of videos. Number one, you can talk about transport, you can talk about communication, you can talk about plants, community workers, family, relationship, the list is just so endless. I will pick one, which is community workers, and what I'll simply do is I will write a script based on community workers so you can write the script yourself or you can simply use an ai tool to write the script for you so the ai tool we use is ChatGPT. so we'll give it this prompt write me a list of 10 community workers also mention what they do and how each of them helps the community make it very simple short and fun for kids to digest easily so click on enter and ChatGPT has finished writing us the 10 community workers that we've requested it has just taken about three seconds on number one we have a teacher we have a firefighter a doctor a librarian police officer up to farmers wow i really love the last one farmers so what we simply have to do from here is we can paraphrase this entire script or this entire lesson we can add in our own feeling the way we would want it to be maybe we would want a teacher to introduce the topic or maybe at the beginning we would want someone to like introduce the topic or to act like a teacher so we can add all those things up here. And once we are done adding in our own words, our own feeling, our own texture to our lesson, what we simply have to do is to convert this lesson into an audio. So to do this, we're going to use an AI tool called Lovo.ai. So this is one of the best AI tools. So I'll click on start now for free and it will land us on this dashboard. So what we'll simply do here is we'll go to where it says create a project. We'll click there and it will open up this new page and we'll click on start project. So one thing I love about this AI tool is that you can add multiple speakers at once. That's if you are generating uh, an audio that requires you to have multiple speakers. So you can simply paste all your text here and it will divide your text into blocks, therefore giving you the opportunity to add multiple speakers at once so the only thing that we need to do is we're going to paste our our text here that we are generated from chat gpt okay so i've just pasted in my text and when you observe carefully my speaker here is kimi so what i'll simply do is to change my speaker i will select all my blocks then i'll come to where it says change voice and the number of voices you can use so i'll select global voice and I'll go to language and I'll select English British or British English. Then from there, I'll select my speaker. So I've just selected Elena. Hope I've pronounced that well. Then what I simply have to do is to click where it says generate. Then my audio will be generated and it will be quick. So once your audio has been generated, all you have to do is come to the download button and you'll be able to download your audio from there. So once we are done generating our audio, it is now time to generate our video. So to make our video, we're going to use Canva. So once we're on Canva, we will go to where it says create a design. And we will go to where it says a video. And this blank canvas will open up. So we understand to say we are creating a video that is talking about community workers to the kids. So what we'll simply do is... First of all, we'll need an audio that we had generated and upload it to Canva. The next thing after we upload our audio, we will need images for our video. So there are two ways we can create images. So number one, we can source them from Canva itself. To do that, we can simply go to Elements and we can search for the type of images that we want. For example, we're looking for firefighters. 
we can simply type in firefighters and we can choose from these images that we have so we can simply go to graphics and select the graphics that you would want to use in your video or if you do not want to use canva maybe you are you, you are using uh, a free version of canva you can simply go to clean png so once you're on clean png you can search for any png image that you're looking for for example let's type in firefighters and we can click on search so there are over 4,000 images that have just popped up for firefighters so take your time in choosing the images that you want and for example let's say we love this one you can just click on it and scroll to the bottom and click where it says free download so once you finish downloading your images all you have to do is upload them back to canva okay so once our our audio and our images have been uploaded to canva so the first thing that we need is to drag an audio to the timeline so we'll go to audio and i'll paste my audio here on the timeline so what i want to do is i want to increase the size of my video to the full size of my audio okay so once that is done the next thing that we need to do is to split this video into two seconds each so what we simply have to do is we'll drag this timer up to two seconds so once it reaches the second second all we need to do is to hover our mouse there and right click and go to where it says split pages so we repeat the same process until we are done with our entire video okay now that we've finished splitting our videos into two second pages what we simply have to do from there is to start adding in our images and start animating them make sure that the image you are dragging on each page aligns with what is being spoken into an audio so the first thing that we'll do is we're going to add in uh, a background so to add a background we will go to elements so make sure you add a background that suits your video so from there i'll go to my recent use i love this background it's the one that we even used uh, on our when we were designing our thumbnail so i'll click on the first page and i'll click on the background image so like this great so what i'll simply do here is i'll listen to my audio to see the way it sounds and from there i'll begin dragging in my images on each page based on what the audio says so if the audio is introducing our firefighters i'll add in firefighters if it is introducing doctors or teachers i'll simply add in the characters that the audio is introducing so i'll listen to the first two seconds okay so what i'll simply do is i'll add in an introduction of community helpers here we can add in some text to make it pop and stand out as it is introducing the lesson to the kids to add in our text what we simply have to do is we go to text and we select our, our default text style and we add in something like hello kids or hello wonderful kids and what we can simply do from there is we can animate everything so that it it gives out that cinematic look as the text is popping on the screen so you go to animation and you can choose the style of animation that you would want so to animate everything at once just select everything at once and look for the type of animation that you would love the next thing that we need to do is to go to the next page and we drag in our background like that and we can simply increase the size until it fits our screen like that then what you simply have to do is we will add in some photos of all the characters that we have as our introduction so we'll go to our uploads and we will select all the characters that we're going to use in our video today okay and we're going to position all these images at random and once we've placed them at random what we simply have to do is we we'll select all of them and we'll go to animate to just pop up like that so from there we can play and hear the way it looks so we'll go to the next page and on the next page it is introducing the teacher so what i'll simply do is I'll go to my images and I'll look for the image that describes the teacher. So I'll select the image of a teacher. And the second thing that we need to do is to listen to the next speaker who is coming and where you need to add three or more images, simply add them there. And the other thing that you can simply do is you can hover your mouse between the, the pages and this transition button will appear. So you can just click on it and you can choose different type of transitions from there okay like this one this one any type of transition so for this one we'll select the dissolve transition 
Okay, so repeat the process until you are done with the entire video. So before I show you the final results, I'll fast forward this entire process. Thank you very much for reaching this far of today's video. If there is any question that you might have, please let me know in the comment section below. And I would love to hear how your channel is doing. So I'll be more than glad to respond to all of your questions. So hook me up in the comment section. Hello, wonderful students. Today, we're going to explore the amazing world of community helpers. These are special people who work together to make our neighborhoods safe, clean, and happy. Number one, teacher. Teachers help us learn new things and discover our talents. They make sure we understand and enjoy our lessons. Number two, firefighter. Firefighters bravely put out fires to keep us safe. They also rescue people and animals from dangerous situations. Number three, doctor. Doctors take care of us when we are sick. They help us stay healthy and give us medicine to feel better.